Hello everyone, here to show you how to create a dash in C++. What you want to do first, you want to go into the character blueprint. Go to character blueprint, go to the mesh. Over here, what you want to do, you want to uh, go to the head, right click. Add socket, call it dash socket, for example, delete, we'll delete that now. Right now I have a socket that's attached to the head called dash socket. And then what you're going to do, you're going to create a player input action component, input component call it dash and you're going to create a func to you're going to need at least two functions and one boolean and that's it here's the dash here's the reset dash function you want to create these two functions go where you see where it says dash all right here you're going to create a line trace You're going to add the, add the ignored component. Make it get mesh so you don't hit your own component. And here you're going you're gonna to socket, get the socket location, which is dash socket. And you're going to get the current rotation of that socket. You get the end trace, start trace, plus the current rotation vector. The vector of that current rotation. You're gonna multiply that by 1,000, and get get the get. You're gonna not encapsulate this in the if statement because you want this to fire off regardless of whether or not it hits something, of whether or not it is valid. You don't want this to detect if it hits something or not, because usually when you encapsulate this in the if statement, it has to hit something. You don't want that for this. You want it to. You want to. The line trace to fire off and use the distance of that line trace to be able to create a dash or you're going to create a debug line trace and here uh, here's a tip you see that uh, little box that opens up at the bottom where it says void draw debug line const u world in world const f vector read all that and you can probably get the line thickness at the very end of this function where depth priority is at the very end or the in here it's only two so I'm gonna bump that up to maybe five gonna bump that up to five and then I using the boolean I had created which by default it is false this global boolean it's false by default. Then what you're going to do, you're going to set the actor location equal to the end trace. And you're going to set B sweep equal to equal to true. Because you set this to false, this set actor location will, will not hit a wall if you happen to bump into it. You're going to set has dashed equal to true so at then you cannot spam the dash function you don't want to be able to spam that dash function constantly now what i'm going to do i'm going to get world set timer manager every second it's going to reset this boolean to false so at then you cannot just continue to spam the, the dash function you can only do it every one second or so And here to show you that this does work, because if you did not put the this boolean to true, what it will do, it will pass through whichever object you're setting your actor location to. And you don't want that. You want, you know, when you dash, you hit the wall, you hit something else. So I'll show you. Let me get out of here. And what you're going to do also, not to forget, you're going to set the capsule 
capsules collision to ignore. You gotta set it to generate overlap events, which is not really necessary. It doesn't, it's not, you don't need to generate overlap events. Here you're gonna set the mesh to ignore the visibility channel. And then to show you, I'm gonna compile save. To show you that what I was saying about the true or false Boolean, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag this out. And the reason why I have no actors in the world is to show you that. To show you that uh, regardless of whether or not there is an object in your way, this line trace will fire off without having without having for you to hit anything. See, look, it stops it. As you can see, now what if I were to set that Boolean to true? If you read all of this and you set bool a actor set actor location const f vector new location which is the new location that you're going to be setting your character to. Bull B sweep to false. What if I set that to true? Set that to false again. See, this is true. And now what if I set it to false? Just to, you know, give an example. And I'll build. As you can see, I pass through the wall. And that's not what you want because with a dash, of course, you want something to block your dash. You don't want to be able to pass through that, pass through the wall. See? No, you can't do that. And just to, just to show you, I'm spamming it, as you can see. Only every second does it, does it um, actually set your actor location. Here's, here's the code. This is actor location equal to the end trace. The reason why I didn't use the hit result, the hit result, because you don't want to have to really detect if you're hitting anything at all whatsoever. You just want the line trace to be able to set the set the actor location. You can do it like this as well. To trace end. But you're not really hitting anything. But I'll leave it like that. It doesn't really doesn't really matter. It, it it comes out to the same result. It just I guess it makes more sense because I this would make more sense because you're actually using this F hit result using all your tools. Because if I just use the in trace, it's like why did I create this? But I'm gonna leave it like that. Checking if the dash is equal to true, resetting it to true, then every second resets it to false. So then you can you don't you cannot spam it. You cannot keep just pressing the button constantly and 
and um, keep dashing infinitely without repercussion. So here are the two functions. Here's the Boolean, and that is it for this tutorial. I'll see you leg givers later. Have a great one. Bye.